I was inspired to do a whole morning routine da 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 to start this video. I do not have any energy for that. This is me this morning. Got up, had my matcha, called my mom. Now we're making breakfast, so. Exciting intro for you. I just rolled out of bed, so excuse my appearance right now, but we are going to be doing a full day of eating today, and this video is going to be fall inspired. We really wanted to kind of like get into the season and share some cozy recipes, and um, we also wanted just to make it really simple. So we're not gonna do anything like extravagant today. We have two recipe ideas that we're gonna be working with. And the first one, I think we made this last year actually for fall, for a, a what I eat in a day as well. It's very easy. I've been trying to eat more oatmeal. Uh, for one thing, I just want to eat healthier in the morning. And then another thing, we worked with um, One Degree Organics a couple months ago now. I worked with them on Instagram. They sent me 15 pounds of oatmeal, so I've been trying to get through it and it's been a process. I actually gave five pounds to one of my friends, which was great, so I have 10 pounds left and I'm going to be using some of that today, so let's do it. Scratch that, they sent me 20 pounds of oatmeal because I got four bags of these and they're all five pounds, so if anybody cares. Um, if you're local and you want some oats, <laughs> hit me up. I'm just kidding, I don't know. <laughs> For the oats was cook it with water and then once it got nice and creamy I just added a pinch or a splash of maple syrup and then um, a little bit of oat milk and now just to top it all off we cook these apples they're delicious you can also do this with um, berries as well it makes it so yummy it makes a really great way to level up your oatmeal you can do it with pears too. Pears are really yummy. Um, I guess you could do this with pretty much anything. Plums would be good. Peaches would be good. I'm gonna top it with a little more pumpkin pie spice. I'm gonna grab some fresh mint from our garden. So that's breakfast. Okay, so I got my whole ingredient set up ready. We got the ring light in front of me. Got my cameraman right here. We have about 10 minutes before I go live. I obviously in front, in front of the camera a lot, but with YouTube, you can edit things out. I can pause, I can think about what I'm gonna say and talk, but live streams always freak me out because I don't have the opportunity to do that. I'm a little nervous, but it should be a good time. But we are making our pumpkin chocolate chip cookies from the blog. Super easy to make. They require one bowl, simple ingredients, and they're really tasty. So I will link that down below. We'll have some clips of me doing my live stream here so you can check it out. And hopefully some of you are watching on Veganuary today. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna get mentally prepared. I have a few minutes left. And then we're gonna get started. Here are the cookies I made this morning on the live stream. So I baked these and then these I put in the oven and forgot to set a timer so they're a little burnt but Chris said that he really likes them. Then I'm actually gonna be making some more and we're gonna be giving some to our neighbors and also um, the camp that Barry goes to, the owner of it, we're gonna bring him some cookies as well. So everybody's getting cookies today. All right, I just Oh, went. did we film? We didn't even film the live stream. I forgot to, I forgot to press record. It was kind of, I felt kind of awkward in it. We'll put a clip in, it's on uh, IGTV. Okay. My name is Jasmine and I am from Sweet Simple Vegan. Today I'm going to be making some pumpkin chocolate chip cookies right over here. I went for a run earlier and normally I have a smoothie after my runs, but I had to bring Barry to camp today so I wasn't able to make my smoothie, but I'm gonna make one now. Pretty simple, I usually do something similar every day depending on what we have. Cheers, and now we had it. Ooh, this is really good. I'm currently outside of Modern Times here in Portland and I'm about to try the Fat Chris, which is a vegan fat sandwich that I worked with them to create. They're gonna be putting it on special this weekend. So basically it has vegan mozzarella sticks from our blog, um, our vegan KFC fried chicken recipe, their seitan meatball recipe, uh, french fries, some mayo nara, which is vegan mayo and marinara sauce, 
and caramelized onions on a hoagie roll. It is gonna be serious, and I am really excited about this. Uh, I grew up eating fat sandwiches in New Jersey. It's like a drunk college town food that is very popular, so um, I'm really excited about this collaboration. Head on down to Modern Times this weekend, grab one of these, it is gonna be serious. I just warmed up some apple cider for Chris and I. It looks like coffee. Here's yours, sir. I don't know if, Thank you. I usually don't make it hot enough for him, so. It's okay? It's good. And then I have some cinnamon sticks. Mm. So, I wanted it to be long so we can like stir it when we drink it, but I only have short ones. So I'm just gonna stick it in there. This is good, this is just what I needed. And then we also have some pumpkin pie spice. Oh my god. Add it on top. Is it good? Mm -hmm. So can for, we mix it? I'm just gonna sip it. Okay. It'll touch the lips. I'm gonna mix it. Lunch today. So for lunch today, we're doing leftovers. We have a lot of food in the fridge from all the recipes we've been making. From last, actually the video you just saw on Wednesday, our that's previous what we video. have in our fridge. I'm also gonna have a liquid IV. Um, I actually got a discount code from them. They reached out to me after seeing, ooh, focus. They saw our Costco video. Ooh, on, yeah. And they also reached out to us on Instagram. So I'll put the discount code for liquid IV down below. Been in a good groove with running recently and Feeling really good about it. We're actually gonna head up to the Mount Hood area on Friday and we're gonna run a trail up there. Really excited about that. Just wanted to say, I've been running. If you have Strava, you can keep track or follow me on runs and Conscious see Chris? what I've been doing. No, it's just a link. We'll put it in the description. Okay. I don't think I have a username. Do I? Maybe I do. Oh. I don't know. I'm adding mint to my liquid ID. I need to steam more spinach. This probably isn't enough, huh? Yeah, it's not enough. It's crazy you add like so much. So much. And then, you know what? I just bought this huge thing of spinach today. And we it's already used half. Gone. That's should, good. Should have bought two. Did you use some in the smoothie too? Yes. My mom has been really into eating greens, which, I mean, for good reason. Um, but she has been trying to find ways to incorporate more greens into hers and my dad's diet. My mom does all the cooking. My dad just eats whatever she puts in front of him, basically. And she was trying to figure out how to eat more greens for breakfast without um, having to make a smoothie. So she was trying to convince my dad to let her add spinach to their morning oatmeal. And my dad <laughs> said, hell no. <laughs> That's where the line was drawn. <laughs> uh, I, it was I wonder how that would taste. I mean, I guess if you use savory oats, that could be pretty savory good. Savory would be good. Yeah, sweet, I don't know. So we just got some steamed spinach. This is a mixture of Beyond Meat and um, black beans and a bunch of spices. And we just have some brown rice and a vegan cheese sauce drizzled on top. Something that Chris and I struggle with, or at least I do, I don't want to speak for Chris, but I don't take like practical, I guess, breaks throughout the day. I will have my lunch while I'm, I'm editing something or while I'm like writing up emails or Excuse me, I'll have my breakfast when I'm doing emails, that sort of thing, so. I'll definitely do the same thing. Yeah, I'm, try I'm trying my best to kind of just take a little bit of a break, not do any work while I eat, and just kind of enjoy my time and relax and then get back to it. It's really, it's so much better for us mentally, and it just kind of helps us, like, check out for a little bit when we check back in. It's, it's much more enjoyable, I guess, to work as opposed to f dragging it along throughout every single one of our, like, daily tasks, I guess. Currently in the car, you can hear the baseball game. Chris has it uh, on the radio. He just stepped out of the car to get Barry, but Louie is with me right now. And I'm sitting back here doing emails. <laughs> That's the reality of it. I um, was going to vlog like our drive here, and I was also going to um, yeah, just make like a fun little montage right now, but I'm a little swamped with work, and I literally was doing emails. I got in the car, and I continued working, so just wanted to uh, share that. Here comes Barry. Hey. What's up? Oh, Barry, where are you going? We are going to attempt to make a butternut squash pasta sauce tonight, and... We have a ton of tomatoes. These are from our garden. I hate, I hate cutting squash. It's just... Uh, I feel like I'm always gonna cut myself. Um, you can soften up the squash either in the oven or the microwave prior to cutting to um, help 
ease the cutting process. And then another thing is, I forgot what the exact term for this is, but like irritates my skin. Apparently you're supposed to wear gloves when you cut it. I, I didn't know it was a thing. I thought my skin was just sensitive. I guess it is sensitive, but I guess a lot of people do um, struggle with that as well. The first mess on Instagram actually did a tutorial on how to cut a squash and she mentioned that if you get irritation to wear gloves. I don't think I have gloves, which sucks. So I'm just gonna get irritation tonight. It's not gonna be a huge deal though. It's, it, it'll go away um, after tonight. I'm trying to figure out how to incorporate the squash. I actually found a recipe that does squash with red wine and tomatoes. And then I saw another tomato sauce recipe that actually does red wine and tomatoes and puts it in the oven and roasts everything. So I think I'm gonna kind of do a combination of the two. And then for the herbs, I have sage, rosemary, and oregano. So I don't know how this is gonna turn out, but you uh, will find out in a couple of minutes. When I cook, this is awkward. When I cook, I usually watch something or play music. Primarily play music because I don't get distracted. But when I'm filming YouTube videos, I can't do that because um, then I'll get demonetized. I guess maybe I could play music right now and then I'll tell you what I'm playing, but I'll put uh, not cop I'll put copyright free music on top so that uh, we can still get paid. <laughs> taking some photos right now. Our photo setup is super simple. We don't do anything crazy because I just don't got time for that. So this is what we're shooting and we started shooting with artificial light about a year ago now and it's what we shoot with 98% of the time. So here is the ingredient shot that I'm gonna take right now. So I styled all of the ingredients for the dish minus the oil, salt and pepper. The salt and pepper I usually don't include in the oil. I forgot to include it when I was styling it and I feel like it looks really nice right now as is. So I'm just gonna leave it. But um, yeah, I'm really proud of it. I think it looks really pretty. When you're shooting videos for YouTube, um, not for everything, but when we shoot recipe videos, we always make sure we custom white balance because if not, if it's on auto, the camera may adjust um, based on like the food we're putting in or um, we do still get natural light in this house and sometimes it shifts everything. So we just try to make sure um, we get it as consistent as possible. I don't know if anyone cares about photography stuff, but what I really like to do and I feel like people really like it on our blog, if any of you are bloggers or want to be bloggers, is like ingredient shots and process shots, kind of showing like the beginning, middle, and the end of the recipe. Um, or including a video in the blog post is always really great, not only for your audience, but also for um, like Google rankings and stuff. So if anyone cares. And here is what everything looks like once it is roasted. Now we're gonna pop it in the food processor. We mixed the sauce with some pasta and here is the final product. We added some vegan Parmesan on top. It turned out delicious. I am really excited to dig into this. What do you think? How do you feel? Excellent. Yeah? Mm, perfect. <laughs> I'm melting in this couch after that pasta. I'm so tired now. Tired. Um, I wanted to show you this really quick. Barry is right in front of me. I don't know if you can see him. He's right here. And then Louie is right there. We'll focus. Hi, Lulu. Oh, it's having a hard time focusing. Well, he's there. You can see his little paw. We just finished watching American Pie, the new movie. It was interesting. Chris loved it. <laughs> it was really corny. It was extremely corny. Well, we watched it all. You watched it all. You did too. You were you were sitting there like watching it I intensely. That. I was washing the dishes before that. What are you doing now? Trying to find new wallpaper for the TV. For the TV. Your hair looks nice today. Thanks, man.
The last thing we were eating in this video, so one of our followers, Chantrice, she sent us, let me move this, can you fit? She I'll sent us here. some of her Chantrice, so she um, bakes vegan baked goods in the Chicago, is it Chicago? Chicago. Chicago area? Area. I don't know. Illinois. 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 Chantrice is awesome. She recorded, she's the first person ever to do a cover song of my band, uh, the song Garden State. It's awesome. She's great. And she makes cake pops and cookies. Cookies. Ooh, these look like birthday cake. And we'll link all of her info down below. Oh, fun. Mmm. 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 I haven't had a cake pop in a long time. I don't think I've ever had a cake pop. Mmm. I think I like that. And then she made us this little pin. Mmm. Little avocado. Good. I don't know what this one is. I love cookies like this. I know, I like the consistency. It's like crispy. Thank you so much, Chantrice. This is delicious. I hope you all enjoyed hanging with us for the day, digging into some fall inspired recipes. And we just wanted to do just a simple laid back vlog today. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was it was really it was really nice to put together a video that like we didn't have to think much about. Anything else? What do we got going on? Um just a lot of fun recipes coming out on the holidays and everything. I'm ready for bed. I am too. I'm really tired. We love you guys, and uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye.